Hello everyone, my name is Unsbox Logic and welcome to the Darkest Woods. I have no idea what this game is about. Um, it's another game draw game I found and it is a point and click style um, horror. Um, but I, I'm not too sure like what exactly what it's like because this is my first time playing it. So I'm just going to click new game and see what happens. Okay. You wake up among the trees. There's blood on your head, but you can't find a wound. You're trying to understand what's happened, but your mind responds with silence. Okay, so up here we've got escape. Up here we've got a bag. Is that inventory? Okay. Um. So let's go right. Right seems to be right all the time. Oh, you see a tiny wooden shed on a hill. It doesn't look like a place for living, but you can clearly hear a baby crying. Into the shed we go. Hello. You notice a pale, thin woman standing in the, in the corner. Look, looks like she didn't notice you. Beside her, you see a pram. A cry is coming from it. Um, I'm gonna look into the pram. Crying is coming from the pram. You see a rusted crucifix. You can't locate, locate a source of the sound. Okay, I'm gonna leave the pram. Hang on. Can I pick up the crucifix? Whoa, what's that noise? Okay, the pale woman disappeared. You must have heard her footsteps. Oh yeah, I heard her footsteps, alright. So we're not gonna go right this time. We're gonna go left. And hopefully... We don't die this time round. Um, your gaze, your gaze presence overgrown glade. You just can send an old well in the middle of it. Who might use it? Let's look into the well. A damp scent is coming from the well. Um, I didn't read that. I didn't. I. I, I didn't read that thing. Okay, let's reach for the key. But it's too far away. You better be careful. Nope, nothing. I'm kind of expecting these jump scares now, now that I know what they're like, so... I don't know. Uh, let's go forth. It's gonna be something else to kill me up here, isn't it? On the other side of the pass, you see a dark man here shaking. Maybe it's just an optical illusion, but it looks like he has no hands. Hello! Hello, no-handed man! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, he's coming over. Is there a way to survive in this, or is this all there is? Let's go right. No, I'm not going in there. But better find a shelter for the night. What the hell is that? I need, like, a code or something? There's n nothing I can do. I picked up a baby, and it sounds like he's trying to talk and s trying to talk to me. It's a bit horrible. Uh, it's them. It's the baby cries that proper creep me out. Just gonna jump up. <laughs> Knew it. Ugh. So there seems to be other things I can do. Like I can pick the baby up, I can pick the crucifix up. So I don't can I even is there a way to complete this game? Okay, if I take the baby and go left. There's nothing else I can pick up around here, it's just that. So, I can't use the baby with that, can I? Oh! Combination. Okay, so we need a... We need a code of some sort. We need two codes. Oh, well, that's just great. How about we... How about if we go into the well and toss the baby down there? 
Can we toss the baby down the well? You're trying to reach the key with a crucifix. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I needed that crucifix, didn't I? Oh no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. You hear an eerie laugh, expecting the worst to understand that nothing happened at all. Okay, so... You can still sense her presence. Okay, so we've done one thing right. It said I dropped the crucifix, but I've already got one here. So I don't get it. Um, I'm not, I'm not reaching for that key, no way, because I know what happens. Okay, so like if we go to if we go fourth, um Ah, you take out the crucifix and this moment the moment the dark man starts to tremble, he literally turned into a cloud of black smoke and flew away. You're frightened, the path is free. Cool, we can go fourth now. Oh I'm not not liking this game. The pass leads to an old mansion with doors shut and windows boarded up. You thought that you have noticed a movement in one of the windows. It seems like if someone wanted to isolate this house from the world. Okay, go left. Left path leaves you with a mutilated dead body attached to a tree. A meat hook sticks from it. You see a note on the body you're shaking behind a tree. You see endless woods. Let's take the note. Stay away. This is not the best thing to find in a cold dark forest. No, I can think of better things to find in a cold dark forest, to be honest. Okay, let's go to the right. Welcome, Anna Noose. You see the basement entrance that is secured with a massive lock. Someone wrote a greetings on a wall. Gas lamp is lit. I wonder who did this. Okay, so... I need a key. Oh, I need the key. You grab the rope and it slips into your hands easily. Looks like the rope's been here for some time. Okay, awesome. Um, that means we can go back. I don't want to go in there yet. Um, let's go back. So, with the rope, can we go left and get the crucifix or the key or whatever we need in there? Okay, let's use that. Rope reaches the key but can't hook it. Okay, so we're not going to... There's no way we're going to be able to do that. So, it looks like we're going to have to go into the mansion. Which I'm not really looking forward to because I know something's just going to pop out at me. You're trying to open the door but it's tightly boarded up. There's no way you could enter here. Okay. So, if you go to the left... Ah, the hook. Ah, okay. You hardly, you hardly pull out a hook from a body. It's too rusty to be a self-defense weapon, but may come in handy. Okay. So, will the hook... No, it won't. I thought it was going to open that for me, but it just didn't, so... <clears throat> if we can use the hook to get the key... Oh, I don't want to go far, I want to go back. If we can use the hook to get the key to get into the into the, the, the locked doors, then we're doing well. Um but at the moment Yes! Okay, finally got the key. Go forth. I think I'm pretty safe. Go to the right, use this key on this. Oh, do I have to go in? That was horrible. All doors led to the basement and shortly closed. After you stepped in it, it's too dark in here. You still a silhouette.
You take an old, you take out an old crucifix and hit a man with it. Success. He screams in agony and slowly disappears. What is this thing? I didn't even have time to read the other text then because I just freaked out. I didn't know what to do. Ah, oh, we can't even leave. What? What's family in? This is a family photo. Looks like this house is some kind of hotel. Faces seem to be spoiled, but you can clearly see a boy's face. It looks familiar. Why does the boy's face look familiar? Okay, let's go forth. Darkness throws you to a vivid hall. As you thought, the door is barricaded from the inside. Someone left a hat on a rack. 3rd of October 1956. A week passed since Mr. Woods hired me as a janitor. Woods Inn, located in the forest far away from the city, and this is just perfect. Mr. Woods is a great lad. He allows me to keep my hat on at home. Hey! Um, hang on, so why is it hung up? And doesn't ask much questions. It's weird that he hired me, especially after I insisted to keep my hat on even inside. He wasn't asking much about my past. He believed in me. Wish there were more people like him. I got Janitor's closet in my as my private room. It's pretty cozy. Woods in can't fit much can't fit much visitors, so there's no reason for me to complain. Finally I'm safe, they won't find me here. Oh, that's what you think. Okay, so there's nothing I can do, so Oh, Woods in. Okay, so we've got the cellar we just came from. The left is on the on our left is a door. On the right is reception. So we're just gonna go to reception. Whoa! Uh, do I have to follow it? Oh, okay. So there's loads of rooms. Okay, so we've got Mr. Woods' office and um, janitor dining room, bathroom two one two one two. Okay, okay, okay. Um, in case two or five, Mr. Woods. What? I don't get it. 101 is reception. Okay, yeah, sure, let's go. I need a key of some sort. You see a barricaded door, what's happened in there? I don't know, I guess I'm gonna have to go upstairs. Stairs lead to a second floor reception table with a phone on it. Table is completely clean. Ah! Hello, police. This isn't the police. Здравствуйте. Вы позвонили в службу доверия. Okay. Yeah. So I don't think I'm meant to use that phone yet. Oh, I just went upstairs, didn't I? I wanna go back downstairs. I wanna go back downstairs. On the on the thing, it had numbers I can ring. Okay, so 101 is reception. 205. So if you ring 205. No answer? Okay, and um, we've got 101, 101 for reception. Hello? No, nothing. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to go upstairs. Oh. A quiet corridor, you he you can hear a mouse squeak, you have to move on. You grab a... Oh, okay, never mind. And um, today's a big day, a birthday of little Rosie, Rossi? Miss Woods gave a birth to a first child. Gave <laughs> Miss Woods gave a birth. She didn't give birth, she gave a birth. A single birth. <laughs> I was running up and down the stairs holding a bowl with hot water for two days. Mr. Woods decided to take delivery all by himself. That's strange because he doesn't have a medical degree. It's finally happened at his office this night though. There was a horrible storm outside so the lights went out. Probably because of shock, I thought that the eyes of a newborn were solid red and had no pupils. I hope a demonic scream that I heard that night was just in my imagination. Ugh, pardon me. After baby was born, Mr. Woods grabbed her and threw me out of his office. I went to my room that I, that I had a horrible, hor yeah. horrible dream. Great. And to room 201 it is then. 
A small room, it's cold here but smells good. Pictures on the walls, you can see a recorder beside the bed. This room is quiet and calming. Okay, so we've got an old tape. So if you put the tape in there... The past since my arrival. This place is just a treasure for paranormal activity research. I asked for a room that once were used by a crazy woman with a child. She was in the newspaper. This place carries a unique atmosphere. We've made a good friendship with Mary Woods. Mr. Woods should probably pay more attention. I brought my telescope with me and we often observe stars in the night with Mary. Mr. Woods doesn't appreciate this and locks a dining room every night. But we have a spare key. We usually hide it in a toilet bank. Uh -huh. Okay. So. We have a knife. We have a note. A week passed since. Ah, okay. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Whoa, okay. She came out of nowhere. Okay, so... That was the Darkest Woods. Um, I know I didn't complete it. Um, there, I'm pretty sure there is a way to complete it. It seems like there is. It seems like they're one of them types of games that there's a lot of mysteries to. I mean, it's a lot of repetitive, repetitive dying. But... Um, we're gonna get there in the end. <sighs> um, it does scare you a bit, it creeps you out, I mean, it, it's it's making me sweat, so it is pretty intense. Um, and it's it's a much better game than I, 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 you know, I imagined. Considering it's only a game job game, and the jump scares are terrible, but it's, in, it's the intensity, it's the, the build up, the suspense, that's really good. Um, so yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, look forward to more Darkest Woods, and yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye!